Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Uh, while I've been, well, reviewing and doing little videos about the T uh, Tango 2, TBS Tango 2, I've mentioned a couple of times in it that I'm using the TBS Crossfire Nano receiver, I've got a load of them, right? and I've been asked how to set one up, right? Now the first thing I said was, there's quite a few videos out already, but uh, the guy wanted a really super simple super basic as I do right? really simple video on how exactly how to do it as simple as possible so the simplest way I could think of was pictures so here's a quick uh, video just a quick talk through the simplest most basic way of how to set up the TBS nano receiver roll VT okay then right here's a photograph of the uh, tbs nano it's not best photograph because i've chopped a bit off at the edge there but don't worry it's only a dot yeah so here where the square is that's your ground and your five volts then your tx then your rx they're the only ones you need to worry about because we're keeping it super simple super basic okay so I just wanted to show you this picture first. Always remember the square is the ground. Okay. And then it runs 5, TX and RX. Moving on. Right. Now to wire up to your flight control board. Right. To have your crossfire set up. Couldn't be simpler actually. Just really couldn't be simpler. You can see in the picture. I don't really need to see anything else. Your, your ground goes to your ground on your flight control board your 5 volts goes to your 5 volts on your flight control board now remember this next one here was TX so the TX has to go to an RX because it transmits and it receives and here your next one was the RX you can see them up there alright so that goes to a TX now it can go to any TX or any spare t RX, any TX or any RX on your flight control board as long as they're the same number as in TX1, RX1, TX6, RX6 any spare you are on your flight control board and that's perfectly fine and that is all you have to do to wire up your crossfire receiver you don't need to do anything else right you're gonna get your RSSI you're gonna get your telemetry you're gonna get everything just by wiring it up this way and doing nothing else now you could have a flight control board where you've used up all your UX or it it just you just can't get at them or you've damaged them or this or one reason and another or this is even might be brand new pilot and this could be confusing to you but it is pretty straightforward you can wire up a simple S bus signal no problems at all and once again all you do is your ground goes to ground your 5 volts goes to your 5 volts and the next one which was TX but it is also channel 1 as in output 1 which you'll do on uh, your beta flight tab I'll show you that in a moment right so you just wire from your next one along straight to your S bus on your flight control board that's all you need to do you're not going to get as much stuff you'll get your RSSI right but obviously all the extra little bits and pieces your telemetry info and certain certain things you will get certain things you will lose by wiring it up this way but if you just want a simple setup right and you'll still get RSSI right do it this way if uh, the full the full connection is a bit too complicated for you which it shouldn't be if you take your time all right but yeah you can do it that way an s bus connection all right why you'd want to is your ch is up to you all right personally i'd always say wire it up the first way i showed you to get crossfire rather than s bus okay now once you've done that you've wired it up whichever way you want you're going to go into your transmitter so moving on right i'm going to use the tango 2 to show you this next bit but i'll also explain it with the tyrannus because that's one of the more popular radios but if you're using your tango 2 all you do here is go into your uh, 
antenna selection right which you'll already know to do because you don't watch it on one of my previous videos click the menu button click enter on the scroll wheel and then you'll find you it'll say nano right nano rx and all you need to do now if you've wired it up for crossfire you will have to do bleeding anything because you'll see here output one will say crossfire tx output two you won't have to touch it'll be done automatic again and it'll say crossfire rx now let's assume you've wired uh, up your s bus selection right all you would do here is click right highlight and scroll through it till you get to s bus and that's all you need to do okay so that's quite simple on the tango too now on the tyrannus right get your brain going george you go into your uh, radio setup you scroll down to where you'll see your rf signals and stuff and you'll see your setup and you'll want to highlight either crossfire well it won't say crossfire it'll say crsf right or s bus whichever one you're using then you go to your sd card scroll down to crossfire uh, when you click on that open that up and i believe you'll see crossfire lua script click on that and do the same as what i've just told you on here all right i'm almost 99.9 percent .9 on that with the uh tyrannus but i don't own one so i'm doing that from uh, memory from what i remember from watching actually when we're not owning a tyrannus however if you already own a tyrannus you'll already know that right and then the last thing you have to do at this point is just uh, go over to beta flight so we'll do that now then okay then right beta flight <coughs> uh is your porch tab now if you set it up for uh, crossfire all you would do if you remember we put it on tx6 and rx6 so you come to serial rx and you highlight serial rx and that is it that's all you have to do you don't have to do anything else on this page right nothing else however right if you set it up just turn that off if you set it up for the s bus if you remember uh, go back if you forgot but it was on uh, output one which is your UARC one so for the S bus you would use UARC one and that's all you would do with that so that really is quite simple and straightforward on this bit and then you move over to your uh, configurations tab so on your configurations tab you will scroll down here right and where it says there uh, your receiver select one now if you're on cross well no matter what you're using whether it be the s bus or the crossfire you want a serial base receiver right and then here well there you go if you was using s bus right you select s bus from this drop down menu which it already happens to be now if you'd set it up on crossfire with the tx and the rx you'd simply select the uh, crs f charlie romeo sierra foxtrot and click save reboot and yet you're done then then you can mess about with beta flight to your heart's content going to your radios do all your modes and stuff well that ain't what this video is about but that's all you need to do to uh, set up the uh, tbs nano receiver so hope this helps i've tried to keep it as simple as i can because i was asked to so uh, thanks for watching and cheers.